Not bad, not bad, not bad. From a dig, see how it feels. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today I have my little homie Alfredo, he's gonna be stopping by and we're gonna be replacing the motor mount on his Focus ST. As you guys remember about a month ago we installed some BC cordovas on his car. If you wanna see that video I'm gonna leave the link up here. So it should be a fun little project, so yeah guys let's get to it. So I'm going to start with the driver's side motor mount. I'm going to need an 8 and a 10 millimeter socket to remove the airbox and the battery tray. Alright guys, once you remove the air intake and the batteries, now you have access to the driver's side motor mount. That is a 80 millimeter bolt. And now comes the motor mount. Look at this guy over here, man. No shoes. No shoes, no shoes don't care. <laughs> Alright guys, so next. I have to remove this bracket because the new motor mount came with a new bracket as well. So I'm going to be replacing this mount and the bracket as well. And um, so this is the whole motor mount. This piece is going to go where that aluminum piece is. And this is going to be the new bracket. And I guess this bracket is gonna go on top of this bracket. All right, guys. So I just realized when installing this motor mount, the mount is actually in the way of the bolt. So what you probably have to do is get this bolt in here first, and do this bolt first before doing the rest of them. So I'm gonna see that it's gonna be hitting though. So you wanna do this bolt first before the other two. Yeah. All right guys, so once you install the, the motor mount next, you're gonna have to install the bracket. Alright guys, once 
once you have the motor mount installed, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the battery back in the air intake. It looks pretty good. Guys, so now we're gonna move on to the passenger side. Passengers, no, I can't say that. Passenger, <laughs> passenger side <laughs> motor mount. <laughs> wow. This is one of those kinds of issues. All right, guys. So we got three 18 millimeter bolts on the top right here, and then two 15 on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Alright guys, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, just make sure the engine is being supported. We got a jack on the bottom of the oil pan over here. Very important. I have a hard time. solution I'm not sure I'm good I'm just like sitting here I'm so sweaty Dude. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I just can't wait how it feels. That's what I'm like, excited about too. Okay, I don't know if I ever told you that the wheel, hop, the wheel hop on these cars, it's really bad. Yeah. It's terrible. It's like when you let go, and they just crash and like, it's really bad. But with this, and then some. Some meaty, sticky tires. See how it is. What happened to your engine car? I took it off. Okay. I have it at home. I just took it off because it was creating so much heat for the car. I wanted to keep it on, but I noticed that every time like I'll leave it off, a lot more. It'll be a lot more cooler than what it'd be having it on. So I just took it off.
Well, guys, this is the this is the easiest side, man. I look so sick, dude. Look at that torque solution. So now we're just gonna do the fun one on the bottom, and that should be it, man. Just gotta put this back over here. All right, this is a 50 millimeter bolt. Shit is on it good. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to use my breaker bar. Hopefully, you get the job done. Yeah, it did. You gotta have the right tool for the job, man. Would have been all day trying to get that boat up. Alright guys, so to remove this bottom motor mount, you have to remove the 250mm bolt and I guess you have to remove this bracket as well. It's 150mm up here, two 12s right here and I believe this is a 15 right here and the bracket's going to come off and you could swap out the motor mount. Alright. So like I was saying, you have to remove this bracket, 350 millimeter bolt, in order to get out this bottom piece. It doesn't look too bad, but yep, that's it guys. So pretty much, you're just gonna go ahead and start everything the way you took it out pretty much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap this out and we should be done. Oh man, I kicked my ass, dude. Look at that shit. I fucked up my finger. Oh shit, I think it's getting red. Like, ouch. I whipped the old, and I whipped the new. Pretty much it, guys. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna remove the jack, install the engine cover back on the bottom, and we should be done. All right, we're gonna go on a little, on a little ride. That's what they were talking about?
He's showing all his skills over here. Yeah, a little bit, not too much. <laughs> Friends, though? Yeah, I feel yeah. it. Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah. I want to see my dig. I want to see how it goes. The blue hopper goes. Alright, man. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. But it's like you can feel different for sure. Alright, guys. There you have it. That's going to be it for today's video. So if you like this video, just go ahead and smash that like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.